Hi there, it's Karen at Corrie Paper Crafts here, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Central Scotland. This is a wee extra video that I thought I would make um, and it's another slider box like the one I made a couple of weeks ago with a Kit Kat biscuit in it but I thought I would share this with you anyway. It's a miniature version of that and inside it actually has my vouchers that I'm sending back to my team leader, Sam. Um, because for recognition she, she sends us a uh, £5 vouchers, gift vouchers. So I thought uh, I would show you how I made it and by the time you see this video uh, Sam will have got these back anyway and what we do with our vouchers is we redeem them for products from the catalogue that Sam very kindly orders and has sent to us. So we get vouchers for recognition for things like uh, recruiting and for our sales, um, for our anniversaries with Stampin' Up, all these kinds of things, promotions as well. So I've recently had vouchers from Sam for uh, my sales, for promoting to silver uh, status and for recruiting. Um, so lots of different things that we get recognition for but I thought I would just share with you very quickly how I made this tiny tote slider box as well because I just think it's really cute and obviously the thank you to say thank you to Sam because she is really good to us and, and she does spoil us. So we're back to magenta madness, I'm afraid, folks. Like I warned you about a few videos ago, <laughs> um, one of our new in colours um, that's 2020 20 to 22 um, in colours. And I've used um, a piece of designer series paper from the flowers for all season, uh, for, for every season, sorry. Um, paper stack. It's a 48 sheet pack with um, 6 by 6 sheets in it. Oh, I'm struggling to get those words out there. And the thank you sentiment is actually from the Peaceful Moment stamp set. It's a cling stamp set so it's the red, the red rubber. Um, and I've already stamped and die cut that ahead of time just to save uh, clambering about with my big shop but I used the Stitch So Sweetly dies um, and it was the second sized uh, scalloped rectangle here that I used to cut out my, my sentiment. So I'm going to get on and show you how I made this little box. So I'm going to grab my scoreboard and again apologies for always thumping the tripod and for any glare that you've got over here. Uh, I'll try and bring the scoreboard down a little bit because it's a very small piece of card so you should still be able to see it. So what you'll need is a piece of cardstock which measures uh, five and three eighths by three and three quarters inches and two pieces of designer series paper which each measure two and one eighth by three and three eighths just to put on the front and the back and I used the new in colour um, enamel dots to decorate this along the bottom here. So I'm using the same colours but just a different sheet of paper so I'm just going to quickly do my scoring and because it's such a small box and I want nice neat um, folds on the corners I'm going to use the small end of my ball tool so hopefully I won't jump the track because very often that's what I do. So on the long side you're going to score at two and a quarter, two and a half, four and three quarters and five and then turn it round and score on the short side at one quarter and that's all the scoring done. So I'm just going to fold and burnish on all of those score lines and they can be a little bit tricky just because they're so narrow some of them so just take your time when you are doing your scoring or your folding rather just to make sure that you do actually fold it on the score line 
There we go. And then I'm just going to bend that over this way. It's sometimes easier to fold the larger piece over than to try and manipulate that smaller piece. There we go. And I'm going to do a little bit of cutting. And I'm just going to cut up these score lines here. I am filming in the evening so you will probably get a little bit of shadow which I apologise for and just a tiny tiny notch out of either side of those. They're tiny tiny and the same again here just a little notch either side Take those little bits of card out and I'm actually going to get rid of this little bit here on the end panel altogether because this is the panel that's going to join my box together and then just take a bit off the top of there as well. So again not much waste from your piece of card that's all you're cutting away. So before I do anything else I'm going to add my designer series paper onto those. For a minute there I thought I'd scored that wrong because those panels don't look the same size but they are. <laughs> and again I'm using up my snail. This is now retired and we do have a new adhesive which I don't have yet. It's on order so I'm hoping it'll be here within the next few days. So keeping the direction of my pattern up and down the way obviously I want to make sure that I centre that about there and one more piece oops didn't do that very well on that side let's just make sure we've got some in those corners to make sure they stay stuck down a bit in the middle and again just a sixteenth of an inch border evenly all the way round about oops about there until it's stuck to my finger so we'll do that again about there I think there we go and then I'm going to put a piece of tear and tape along this three-eighths of an inch section here and I'm just going to use my ruler to get a nice straight edge there and this panel here is the panel that's going to fold over last from the front and the tear and tape does overhang it a little bit here but we'll sort that when the time comes to stick that down And then last of all what I want to do is just pop a mini glue dot on both of these little tabs here because they're so tiny that I can't fit a piece of tape on very easily. So I'm just going to grab a mini glue dot which fits pretty much perfectly. It helps if you don't bundle it all up so let's let's try that again keeping it flat this time just one on there and one on there and I'm ready to stick it together other than using my trio punch and if I turn it so that you can see this little part here which is what I've used to punch out the hole just like I did on my Kit Kat slider and I'm just going to do this by eye I'm just going to this groove that you see on the punch here I'm just going to eyeball that to get it as central as I can into the middle of that panel and punch the hole and the same on this section just making sure that I've got it round about the middle for my ribbon to come through and 
that actually looks perfect because they both line up when I fold that back over so I'm quite pleased with that and then I just want to stick the box together so take the backing tape off of this piece of tape here Oops. and make sure that anything that's hanging over the edges is pressed down and then bringing this edge over I just want to join that up and stick it together. So this seam is now at the back of my box and I can see just a tiny tiny little overhang there so I'm just going to trim that with my paper snips before I put the rest of the box together. Sometimes you'll get that and you just need to trim it off and there's no problem. So keeping this panel out of the way just now I want to pop in my two tiny pieces here with the mini glue dots on them and then bring in what is the back panel keeping my box as straight as possible and turn it back round and just pop my paper folder in there to make sure they are stuck down and then just get a hold of the backing tape on here and as you can see it does overhang a little bit so fold in that edge and then just fold the tape back on itself there and it won't it won't overhang when I pop this last panel over like so there we are and that's my box essentially made so what I need to do now is get a piece of ribbon magenta madness of course <laughs> and I just want to dry fit it round the box to make sure that I've got enough to go into the box with my vouchers and have a little bit at the top like that to be able to tie it together and I'll just borrow the vouchers out of this box just now and I'll pop those in I'll just cover up Sam's address though I need to pop my ribbon through first from one side to the other it can be a little bit fiddly because it's so small and then just even those up make sure they're equal on the outside of the box and then just pop my vouchers in like so there we are and just pull on that ribbon to make sure that it's fitted round properly and then I've used the gold thread again that's part of um, where's my little bag the forever greenery combo pack so it comes with a um, a very vanilla sort of woven ribbon as well I'm just going to pull that a little bit there we go and then I'm just going to tie this in a knot now you've seen me do this if you've watched my other videos you've seen me do this in another couple of videos as well so I'm just going to tie this thread in a bow like so although it could be a little bit tighter but never mind and then I'm going to pull on those just to bring that gold thread down a little bit but um, I think it could probably be a little bit tighter but yeah I'm going to tie that I'm going to tie that a little bit tighter I think there we go try and get my finger on it this time to to hold it tight until I get the bow tied and here we go it's all fiddly as usual there we go and just make sure that I pull these tails down the way tie the bow tighter again 
just make these loops a little bit smaller, but that'll do, I think. There we are. And just get hold of these and trim them just a little bit, I think. There we are. Get rid of all of those little strands. And then just tighten it up once more. Pull these ends here to pull that bow down a little bit. And then I think I'll just make these both the same. And that's my bow tied on the end or on the bottom of my magenta madness ribbon. And then all that's left for me to do is pop my thank you onto the front. So using dimensionals, one, two, three. I'm going to pop one at that side and one at that side and one right in the middle. And stick that thank you. It pretty much is exactly the same width as the box, which was um, a happy discovery that wasn't planned that way at all. And then I'm going to use my 2020 to 22 um, in colour enamel dots and I'm just going to use, you guessed it, or I wonder if I should mix it up a little bit. I'm thinking there's quite a lot of the Misty Midnight um, in this one so I think I think I'll stick some of the misty moonlight dots on just as a little change um, and that looks about right there yeah I quite like that it just mixes it up a little bit and that's my thank you pouch made so I just thought I would come on and share with you um, what I had made for Sam obviously that ribbon's longer because I've pulled the vouchers out um, hope you like it give me a thumbs up if you did like it and if you make your own I'd love to see it too so thanks for watching and I'll see you again very soon bye bye